This week's invitation comes from Nagoya, Japan, where Tokugawa Yoshitaka, a direct descendant of Japan's most formidable shogun, has invited me to cook a traditional meal for him and his friends. Now, Japanese cuisine looks very simple, but it's very often the things that look really easy that are the most difficult to pull off. So I think this one is going to be a little bit daunting, but then I'm looking forward to it. I am Christian Bauer, executive chef and co-owner at Troika Sky Dining, one of Malaysia's most innovative fine dining restaurants. I wanted to have some fun with my European heritage and my love of world cuisine, so I came up with the idea of taking over the kitchens of royal families and reinventing traditional palace dining. My style of cooking is modern, but it always has a definite twist. Who doesn't love a challenge? Join me as I put my culinary skills to the test. Nagoya is the largest city in central Japan. Located halfway between Tokyo and Kyoto, it has always been a strategic resting stop for travelers. With over two million people, Nagoya is a key industrial hub of the region, and it is also the home of Toyota. Nagoya is quintessentially Japanese in every way, and despite Japan's hypermodern image, many of the ancient traditions still survive. Nagoya was extensively bombed in the Second World War, and I'm now standing in front of the only remaining original palace gate. Isn't it stunning? From the mid-15th to 17th century, Japan found itself in a constant state of civil unrest. And from this period of uncertainty rose one of Japan's legendary feudal figures, the great shogun Tokugawa Ieyasu. Ieyasu unified the country and ushered in 300 years of peace, an era we now know as the Edo period. It was here in Nagoya that Tokugawa and his allies established their initial base of power. I'm about to meet Mr. Tokugawa. He is a direct descendant of the great shogun Tokugawa Ieyasu. And if Japan was still feudal nowadays, the man I'm about to meet would be shogun. Tokugawa-san? Konnichiwa. Chris-san desu ne. Hello. Konnichiwa. Hajimemashite. It's good to meet you. So this is the Tokugawa family residence? So this is. Koko wa Nagoya Jo wa 1610 nen ni tateraare te, sore kara 250 nen gurai. The great shogun Tokugawa Ieyasu bestowed lands to his three youngest sons and ordered them to set up branches of the Tokugawa clan. Tokugawa Yoshitaka is the 22nd generation head of the clan. Tell me a little bit about what your family likes to eat. I'm Mr. Tokugawa dedicates his life to the Tokugawa Dawn Foundation, which preserves the family's precious artifacts and heritage. I get to visit the Tokugawa Art Museum, the home of some of the family's most treasured artifacts. It is a beautifully housed collection containing some of the finest examples of craftsmanship from the period, including many of Tokugawa Ieyasu's personal effects. This what is your hope for this collection for the future? What would you like to see happen to it? Here, 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 
長く、えー、未来に向かってコレクションをこう、まあ、守っていくことこれはもう最低限やらなきゃいけないことですけれどももっともっと世界中の人に見てもらいたい。Tokugawa's amazing collection makes me want to learn more about the samurai of the Edo period. So I head to the main castle to find out more. Okay. Yes. And now? Okay. Okay. This is just like being in the、yeah. kitchen, actually. Two feet on the floor. My block of cow is in front of me. <laughs> Modern experience. I can't wait to get in the castle. And really let rip. Inga! s e r t a i n It's a cold and rainy day. And Mr. Tokugawa has invited me here for a bowl of hot noodle soup. Perfect. The Yamamotoya Honten restaurant has been in business for over 150 years, and it is famous for its traditional udon and its hospitality. This is a really nice place you brought me to. You always come here? ここは私が名古屋に来るとよく食べに来る味噌煮込みうどんのお店なんですよ。ぜひ。Is this something that your, your father and grandfather also like? Is it like a family tradition to eat this? So they all come to this place before, so it's the same noodle they're eating. So this is it. This here is the miso that's going to be used in our soup today. What kind of miso is this? これがあの味噌煮込みうどんに使う赤味噌です。地元の赤味噌を使って自社でブレンドした特製の味噌になります。So this is a proprietary miso blend that they do in house. They take a number of different high grade misos and blend them together to get their own house miso. お待たせしました。うどんはすごく熱いので、日本人はこの蓋をお皿の代わりに使うんです。Which is very clever. So now I know. 味はいかがでしょうか。Excellent. Really wonderful. 200年ぐらい前まで、このうどんの原型があのこの地方の郷土料理としてあのあったと聞いております。当社は100年以上。So, if I want to use the same balance of the stock ingredients, what do I need to do? What? So, I need to use the same balance of the stock ingredients. I need to use the same balance of the stock ingredients. I need to use the same balance of the stock ingredients. I need to use the same b a l I've learned how the mixture of the miso, the dashi, the sweet, sour, salty should be in perfect balance. So let's hope I get it right. After that delicious meal, I decide to explore Nagoya's miso traditions. For centuries, Japanese craftsmen using natural fermentation have transformed soya beans and grain into a delicious and versatile staple food and a seasoning called miso. Rich and savory, it adds a harmonizing flavor to a wide variety of dishes. I travel to the nearby town of Okazaki, birthplace of Tokugawa Ieyasu, and home to one of Japan's most esteemed foods, Hacho Miso. Hacho Miso was founded in 1645 years ago. It's been a long time. 八丁味噌は大豆と塩と水だけで作るお味噌でして、まあ、日本の中でも珍しく大変硬くて水分が少ないというのも特徴ですえそして二夏二冬といって、まあ、2年以上熟成をするお味噌となります
I understand there is a link between Hachu Miso and the Tokugawa family. え、徳川家康はお飾りで生まれたということもあり、え、この地のお味噌を大変好んだとされています。え、そして戦にも、ま、腰にお味噌を巻いて、え、たと言って言われております。The Japanese had an interesting way of preparing their miso on long journeys. え、芋づるに味噌をつけたものを持ってきまして、それをお湯に浸して、ま、今でいうインスタント味噌汁のようにして食べたとされております。The basic method used to make hachu miso has changed little over the last 300 years. After the soybeans have been washed and cooked, they are stored in enormous wooden vats and pressed down with two and a half tons of stones in a strict pyramid formation. Wow, all these barrels look very even. How many stones are in each one of the barrels? The miso is cured in the vats for over two years before it is fully mature and ready to eat, making this particular type of miso one of the finest in the world and a distinctive ingredient for many Japanese dishes. That was a really fascinating visit. Now I think hacho miso is probably a secret I should keep to myself. The next morning it is time to go ingredient hunting at the Nagoya Sogu Market. Everywhere you look, you can see how the Japanese have actually brought fish buying to a fine art. You will see people discussing the qualities of one little fish before buying it. And that's the standard. It's amazing. Apart from fresh fish, there's also fish cakes and processed fish products in every form, shape, size, or very lurid color. The selection is <laughs> just stunning. As you can see, every single part of the tuna is being used. Nothing at all goes to waste. Thank you. Thank you. Breakfast. Toro. This is the best part of the tuna. If I go to a restaurant, I have to pay a lot of money for this one. But I made friends, so I get it for free. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. Found the tomatoes. I'm going to need these to put into the soup because we're going to do a tomato miso. So I think these ones will be just perfect. But there's other smaller ones. Let me find out what they are. What kind of tomatoes are these? Fruit tomato. Fruit tomato. What are they used for? Can I use them for cooking? Okay, so we got two types of tomatoes. This is a bit sweeter, but I think this will probably be best for our soup. So I'm going to have to pick eight perfect ones. Yes. I'm going to change my recipe a little bit to stuff the tomatoes. I'm going to use this beautiful fresh spinach. It's actually, it's almost like sugar on the inside. It's incredible. At our next stop, Mr. Tokugawa takes me to a special restaurant to immerse me in the cuisine of the Edo period. Here, years of research have gone into recreating dishes from the shogun's time. The food prepared here is as visually appealing as it is delicious. Looks good. How important is presentation in Japanese cuisine? The chef explains to me that in Japanese food, presentation is often constructed in five colors. I am certainly looking forward to tasting dishes that are practically works of art. This was the food that the Tokugawa shoguns themselves would have enjoyed. 
私の先祖の第7代の当主の徳川宗春の時代に使われていた食材やなんかを調べてそれをもとに、えーまあ、現代風にアレンジしたそうですね。To top off that incredible culinary experience, Tokugawa san invites me to a tea ceremony, a ritual that reflects the grace and gentility of Japan's food culture. How are you? Thank you. Delicious.、Mm. I could get used to that. Before returning to the kitchen, I stop off to select the dishes for my meal at Nagoya's historical tableware company, Noritake. Now, here is exactly what we need a simple plate, beautifully designed. So, all I need to do is get my tomato in there, my soup. Perfect. And now the time has come for me to cook for Mr. Tokugawa. The location is the exquisite Tokugawa Garden Restaurant, surrounded by its immaculately designed landscape. I'm going to make a tomato miso soup. So it's half European and half Japanese, something he's probably not used to, so it should be quite exciting. I'm preparing a soup dish based on hacho miso. The recipe will be a fusion of Japanese and European influences, and a new experience for Mr. Tokugawa and his guests. This is the beginning of our stock. So I've put the kombu, the dried seaweed, in here. And that's just about cooked now. Besides using kombu for the base of the tomato soup, I am also flavoring the stock with dried bonito flakes. The thick fragrance of the bonito gives us that sublime savory taste that is immediately recognizable in Japanese food. Then I am putting in my chopped tomatoes, along with healthy servings of the red hacho miso and a tablespoon of the more common white miso. The key to my soup is to keep it thick and flavorful and strain it without losing the consistency that is almost like a stew. We're ready with more or less everything. The last part we need to do is the filling for our little tomatoes. So I'm going to get cracking on that. Right? And then roll up the spinach. Roll it up. And then I'm just going to cut it into strips. This is going to be. The filling for our little tomato. I've hollowed out a few tomatoes and added their meat to the soup. I'm going to stuff these with spinach miso cream. This crunchy sweet spinach from the market is just perfect for a cream sauce filling. Hi. Hello. Good to see you again. Along with Mr. Tokugawa, his esteemed guests include Ichimura Rentaro of the Yamamotoya Honten restaurant, Konoe Tadahiro, great grandson of the Taisho Emperor, and Dr. Yasuda Bunkichi, a culinary and cultural expert. And now the moment of truth. Everyone is out there and we are ready to plate our soup. Let's start filling our tomatoes. There we have it, miso tomato soup. I hope they like it. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
けが飲めるって感じですよね<笑>これは<笑>日本人だったらこれご飯にかけて食べてもらご飯に合いますねこれこれはそうですね<笑><笑>この味でうどんでもいけるんじゃないこれは<笑><笑>ちょっと厳しいですね厳しいですね<笑>本当に漆のワンとかで出てきたらお味噌汁な感じはしますけど、うん、これで出てくるとどうもなんか西洋のスープにお味噌が入ってる感じがしますね,<笑>ですね全然そのプレゼンテーションによって全然雰囲気が違う<笑> Gentlemen Are we happy? とても美味しかったです Thank you No, I hope I got the flavor more or less right Trying to mix the tomato and the miso together <笑>味噌の味が生きてますよね。そうですね。ねうん、でもこうやはり日本食ではあまりトマトを使わないですけれども、そ,、ね、そのトマトと合わせてもこう味噌がこう非常に相性がいいっていうのはよくわかりますね。はい、ねうん。Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. どうもありがとうございました。It was a real pleasure meeting Tokugawa-san and learning about local Japanese cuisine. I'm glad he and his friends enjoyed my cooking. I hope you'll join me, Christian Bauer, again next week for another episode of Cooking for the Crown. <laughs>